What is going on guys? The Mad Dragon Rugby Championship is of course over on the channel, but I've had some comments from you guys across the series asking if I could do some more stuff just to get a little bit more involved with it. You guys have been asking for maybe like a man of the match or a try of the round sort of deal. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different and do a try of the tournament from the Mad Dragon Rugby Championship series. There was, I think, 18 tries. I've condensed it down to 11. I really wanted to get it to 10, but I just couldn't cut out any more of them. The last 11 are the tries that I think genuinely were the most fun just to watch back all really big moment tries in terms of the series. So have a watch and make sure you drop down in the comment section which one is your guys try of the tournament so I can have a look through the comments and see which one impressed you guys the most. And without further ado let's check out all 11 tries from the Mad Dragon Rugby Championship back out to Cheslin Colby finding himself uh, in a lot of space again throughout the rest of this game so far as Colby runs it up for Lacanya Am to Pollard to Damien Dialende takes up a little bit more a little pop pass to Mapimpi even the speed of someone like Andrew Kellaway not going to get there and Mapimpi takes it over the line for the opening try of the series a really nicely well worked try Damien Dialende there hitting a nice little hole fullback had to cut back inside and no one going to catch Mapimpi from there scrum of course still missing a forward in the new zealand scrum they pass it out wide della fuente gets it out to moroni oh we saw the backs opening up last year santiago cordero making it down the wing he's got to outrun a lot of very fast players can he just go to the corner Oh, he just about scores. He nearly was so happy with this achievement. He nearly jumped over the dead ball line. That will be a, a bit of a concern for management to look at, but what a superb run by him. Had to outrun Jordy Barrett and Will Jordan down on this wing. Not an easy task. Uh, not the greatest line from him. Just about got the ball down. The ball can spread out wide as Ardi Sarveya wants to take it on himself. Or maybe should have given the pass sooner. Aaron Smith to the new boy. Quintapaya comes on. Will Jordan finds himself in his absolute happy place in just room and room of space. Can the South African defence get back? They manage to get two tackles, but it's not enough to stop Will Jordan out on that wing. Uh, I did think that Andre Pollard actually managed to get back for that one, but... Just a bit of a slip tackle. He's a hard man to stop. He's an incredibly fast player. Will Jordan out on that wing. Uh, and uh, Cheslin Colby managing to seal out on a second tackle, but not enough. Sorry, it was Vili LaRue who didn't manage to get that initial tackle. Apologies to Pollard there for uh, <laughs> saying he missed that one. Right. See Oxen Shea out on the wing and Cheslin Colby. That's more the man you want to see out on the wing, making a bit of extra room. Fafta Clerk decides to go himself. Or oh, if it got through, maybe it works for him. New Zealand looking in all sorts of desperation as Andre Pollard takes it towards the line. What a try from him, managing to ride the tackles and reaching for the line in order to get their superb play from him. Uh, let's watch that again. What a superb move here, though, from Fafta Clerk managing to uh, break the line. I really thought a turnover was coming here. Good support by his forwards. Andre Pollard, though, diving through uh, a couple of tackles there. Very poor defence by New Zealand. It was Rico Yuani who managed to get there, but superb vision by him to stretch out. No double movement and score a try. One off runners. That's a, a dangerous pass, though, as... Oh, I could see... Ritalik diving in there to try and get back for that. Oh, it's Mpimpi with the sidestep. Goes over for the try. Damian McKenzie caught napping. What a superb sidestep from him. Brody Ritalik, for whatever reason, found himself on the left wing for this one. Let's watch this one back. Andre Pollard took that up. I thought that was potentially a turnover there. Uh, they did very well. Fafta Clerk had to fill in there. Great pass out wide. There was actually two locks versus a winger up there. Uh, and then it was missed in the tackle by Severis and Damian McKenzie just tackling air. Poor, poor tackle from him. The Pimpy will take them all day long. Find themselves. Oh, rushing to defensively mode. They're well done by Sam Whitelock to pick that one up. Will Jordan thinks he sees some room down the wing. What's happened? Oh, my goodness. It's all gone wrong for South Africa. Will Jordan has just come out of nowhere to steal this game. Kicked around Vinny LaRue yet again, who's just had such a poor game today. Oh, and you just can't give Will Jordan that amount of room. Wow. 
Australia go for the five meter scrum. They obviously feel confident in the scrummaging department. Nick White will put the ball in as it drops back for Valatini to rush on himself. Oh, took it right to the line. Doesn't work for him. Hunter Paisami gets it out. Paisami gets up to Ikatao, on to Jordan Pattaya and gets himself a try. The initial plan didn't work. Go to plan B. Spread it out wide and uh, Argentina and 42 bunch. They obviously knew they wanted to go through the forwards. Good defense though from them. Stop Valentini, not an, uh, an easy man to stop. They were so close to the line and uh, shipped on there through the midfield partnership out wide to Pattaya to take it over the line. Reese Hodge has actually come on in the fly half position to try and add a slightly different dynamic to this team. Australia go right again. Oh, there's that hole in the midfield. We've seen it a couple times today. Reese Hodge gets it out to Andrew Calloway. Oh, it's a tough run. Geordie Barrett's trying to get back. Andrew Calloway takes it into the corner. What beautiful play by the Australian team here. Look at that run by Michael Hooper. Straight through the middle. Had to cover by Rico Ioani, but unfortunately he had to come off his wing and it just meant that Andrew Calloway had the length of the pitch to run. Geordie Barrett, unfortunately, not going to get back for that one. Now, suddenly, South Africa find themselves pinned back in their own 22. Where can they go? To the little firecracker that is Cheslin Colby. And suddenly, a breakaway from nowhere. And I don't think anyone's going to get back for him. Damien Dialende running alongside him. Cheslin Colby will run this under the posts because they need as many points as they can get. What a run from him. Length of the pitch, end to end. Fantastic run to get all the way back there and put the spring box in some sort of position to potentially take this rugby championship. What a lovely try by them. They don't want another yellow card and lose the man for the rest of the game. And also Kobus Reinach has come on at scrum half instead of Faf de Klerk as Mapimpi goes for a lovely up and under. Oh, what a great catch by Mapimpi. What a start. The Springboks would want the halftime team talk. Obviously coming in for them here. Mapimpi with the run. The fullback getting back across, but a lovely up and under. Kept his eyes on the ball. Superb catch from him. And running it under, Andre Pollard was running alongside him, wondering if he could uh, take some credit for that. Who manages to get it? Quagga Smith collects. Reiner gets it to Cheslin. Colby's moved in towards the fly half position to Pollard to pass it out wide to Mapimpi. Cuts back inside. It'll pass inside to Damien Dialende. He's going to run it all the way. It's another beautiful try. The Springboks have struggled so much with going through the phase play. But these breakaway runs, Argentina just do not seem to be able to keep the South African backs in check at all. What a lovely pass from Mapimpi back inside to Damien Dialende.